Hi gang, it's my first update video for a little while. Um, really flat out with the MMA training at the moment. You know, it's Sunday the 5th. Um, I've started officially kind of on the uh, on the 31st um, with shoot fighters. I've been in and out since August, but I've been away so much. Uh, I kind of ended up being going to about eight or nine countries in the last kind of five months through uh, holidays, DJing, um, some weddings, some travel, some work trips, which has been amazing, the honeymoon. Um, but it's nice to be back in, having a regular routine now. Um, the training's been real tough this week. You know, it's kind of the start of a, of a of a journey. It's going to take a while to my first uh, my first fight. Obviously, there's like discussions when that's going to be, but I can't can't reveal that at the moment. But I mean, at shoot fights, you know, these guys are, are, are a serious gym. You know, with some serious people down there. They've got an unbelievable reputation, and they're not playing around. So my first kind of few sessions back this week have been tough. I had my very first training fight um, you know it's a test which is really interesting from a psychological point of view you know it's one thing going to rugby and doing contact sessions or playing games but you know it's a different mentality to get yourself up to fight someone uh, a fight a teammate someone that you you know you might like or whatever and um, it's hard you know especially at, I mean at hard at any level but heavyweight as well I mean I never grew up doing martial arts or sort of sparring training so I'm kind of learning a skill going in there trying it out coming back practicing it um, Bodies reacted interestingly to it, you know, as you would imagine, I kind of played all that rugby, got little niggles and bits and pieces. So recovery and training has, has been a huge element of everything that I'm doing at the moment. And I've had to kind of really change my, my life around again, become a full professional sportsman. So everything I do now, tracking all my calories, looking at my hydration, looking at my recovery, you know, it's, it's what is it, about 10.30 on a, on a Sunday. Uh, I'm off to go and do ice bar, sauna, recovery, mobility. You know, I've been doing that for the last couple of three days. Um, doing that after training sessions, having to make sure I eat, you know, these sessions are, are tough. You know, in about 65 minutes, you're burning about 1,300 calories. I'm, at, I'm out there for about two hours. Some of the stuff I can't wear my, my watch for, the wrestling and sparring, obviously. So, you know, you're, you're going through a lot of, a lot of work um, and it's very intense. You know, even things like you don't take, you take for granted, obviously the cage is metal, constantly practicing and drilling against the cage, you come back, you know, it looks like your back's been on a cheese grater, you know, little bits of injuries and stuff that you have before start, start, um, you know, cut flaring up, things like in the sparring, you know, it's really interesting because A, the fitness is a different level, you know, people always talk about the fighting stuff, you can be as fit as you want, but as soon as you start scrapping or sparring, that goes out the window, and, and I, I found that to be 100% true, uh, you know, we, we did two, three two minute rounds, and I was blowing, while someone's trying to punch you and take your head off, you know, uh, the, guy, the guys I train with shoot fighters are A, a lovely people, B, um, you know, kind of uh, very good at what they do. Um, and, you know, you, it's psychological. You've got to, you know, the first kind of night before that uh, spar, I didn't really sleep that well. You know, it's a different mentality to, to front up, get dressed up in the gym, go out and scrap someone and then go again and do it for however many months, uh, you know, two or three times a week. So that's going to be a really interesting uh, adaptation for me mentally. Obviously, things like, you know, being a professional sportsman again, paying for physio again, paying for uh, nutrition again, you know, buying your own equipment, all this kind of stuff that you take for granted. This is something that happens you know, every single day in the fight world. You know, very few people make unbelievable money out of it. Obviously, part of the reason I joined up with Bellator was, was you know, the ability to go in at that top, test myself um, for a short period and then, and then move on to something else in my life. But I'm, I'm really enjoying it, but it's things like we need to get sponsors, need to do all that kind of stuff, which is, which is taking its time but I'm fully into it, you know, recovery is, is massive, uh, doing a lot of research on sauna work and ice baths, um, you know, different protocols to help that. Obviously the benefits of both of these are kind of really well known. Um, so yeah, it's, 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 it's tough, uh, it's kind of all consuming, you can't really play at this. So that's kind of going on. Uh, I've cleared all my diary out of everything else, so everything is now like specifically down to um, MMA stuff. I'm having to make sure I look after my body, get physio, you know, three or four times a week, making sure I look after myself. Early to bed, can't waste my time doing anything that isn't gonna make me a better fighter. Um, and it, we're only in week one. You know, as I said, I've been in and out since August doing sessions. I paid for all my own jiu-jitsu training in, um, in Japan during the World Cup. You know, I've been doing all my fitness. The fitness is completely different than anything I've, I've ever done before. The intensity required, the amount of calories you burn, the individual sessions. So if I went to the gym now, set myself an hour's work, by the time I come out, I've done about 1,200 calories of high intensity work heart rate sitting around 140 150 average um, and yeah it's 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 tough um, mentally emotionally everything is a completely different world I'm enjoying it and I really enjoyed the sparring bizarrely 
you know, I was nervous. Uh, again, that, that switch from having to like be a teammate with someone, try and take the head off, then go back to being a teammate with them. You have to put your emotions on hold. You have to do that. You know, I wore some big shots. It's part and parcel of what's of what's going to happen. Um, got some DJ bits and pieces coming up as well. Interested to balance that out. I've completely gone off drinking again, which I did for a large portion of my of my rugby career. Uh, you know, just focusing really much on very much on basics of hydration, of hydration, and nutrition. But yeah, it's uh, it's an exciting journey. I'm going to actually take you through my my recovery protocol today, just to show you because it's. Uh, quite funny watching me up to my neck in an ice box. Um, other than that, yeah, just got a few speaking bits and pieces coming up as well, but you're yeah, pretty much flat out in the MMA stuff. And look, you know, you have to be incredibly, incredibly dedicated by this. And as someone told me the other day, you know, London Shoe Fighters is a serious gym with a serious pedigree. You know, you can't play around at this. You can't mess around with MMA. A, because you get very hurt. B, you get embarrassed. And C, you know, you get fucking killed. So, so, um, yeah, it's, it's a big mind shift. I knew this was going to be the case, but it's, it's obviously one thing to say and talk about it. It's another thing to put your head guard on, put your gum shield in, put your, put your pads on, put your gloves on, and then go and bat someone and go get battered yourself. Um, so I'm, I'm enjoying it, but uh, it is a shock to the system, and we're only week one. We've got some months, months and months to go. Um, but what a journey it's going to be. I just need to... Uh, find some sponsors now and get some get some good work done get some equipment going and um, get my head down but first protocol is recovery uh, 20 minutes sauna five minutes ice bath 20 minutes sauna five minutes ice bath mobility stretch some shoulder rehab stuff because uh, little things that hurt you before um, or didn't really hurt before suddenly start hurting when you're falling in different ways constantly drilling you know MMA is constantly drilling certain things certain things to recall on fights there's certain things you're going to come across the entire time um, but I'm with a great team, uh, with great teammates, and a great organisation, Bellator. So I'm excited to see how this uh, how this goes. But I will catch up with more uh, updates as we go forward. I've still got some old content stuff from Japan that I want to share with you because it was an amazing adventure. Uh, but we'll uh, catch up soon.